it's, it's so amazing to just see like people believing in, in, in this space before it's even up. The energy that is just coming in with all the collaborations has been, has been so amazing. It says a lot about you guys. It's, it's, it's gonna be amazing to just like see it fully yeah, man. being it's, we're, we're like experienced, there. you know? Um, I think the takeaway from today is that we're working with a good group here and uh, I'm excited to, to, to reveal this to them next week. No people. All right, we just had a massive panic attack. As we're editing this video, the scene that you're about to see, super cool scene. It's about the sustainable irrigation system that Nick created. Well, you'll see. I thought we almost lost the files, but good news is Nathan had the backup files. Came to save the day. We're good to go. We have about a week to finish this edit, so let's get back to it. What's cool about this tank is two things. One, it's a very sustainable ecosystem. All of the fish in there are captive bred, nothing is pulled out of the wild. And number two, we utilize all of the wastewater from the aquarium to irrigate the entire property. City water has small amounts of chlorine in it, has metals in it. With the water from the aquarium, it's completely chlorine free, it's completely metal free, and it's incredibly nutrient rich. So the water runs from the tank into this uh, filter and then these tanks have a booster that irrigates everything? Correct. We have a 700 gallon capacity and at any given time we can just turn another valve and a booster pump will take that water that's on standby and push it through this entire yard. And you're helping the environment. We're saving over a thousand gallons of water per month. It's really incredible when you think about it. Is this one of the first homes that you've tried this? It is the first home we've tried it to this scale. As far as sustainability goes, is something that you want to introduce with future clients and just in general? We want to show everybody what's possible. We're, we're getting close here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, big day. day. Here at the Yes House today, because yep. a lot of the things that you're seeing on the ground actually are getting installed today. The neon sign comes back and we put out the dichroic circle up there. We've got the sound system getting installed. Bose just delivered everything. We've had kind of a you know a casual relationship with them. We made a pair of headphones that were Seek Discomfort branded and we told them about the, the vision for the Yes House. Yeah. They really came through and, and right now we're actually getting them installed, so. Best sound in Venice. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> You've seen the first phase, which was us bringing the tank, plumbing the whole aquarium, hooking up all the filtration, decorating and filling the tank. And today we're gonna... Keep going. How did you find this place? I can't tell you, Jonathan. <laughs> that's, that's a secret sauce. It's a known okay. secret. Have you ever had an aquarium? <laughs> No. This is your first one? No, yeah. I've only had a fish bowl. And the fish didn't, didn't last for long. <laughs> to scale. A man who's 6'4", he's pretty tall. You know you got a big fish tank when a dude who's 6'4", fits in it. All of the materials that we're using to decorate the aquarium are organic. Three elements to filtration. Biological, mechanical, and chemical filtration. We add a little bit of oxygen in the water with a nice bubble wall. Keep the temperature controlled with the heater. So we'll have a, a base substrate, and it's a coarse gravel. So that'll be our foundation. The reason I want to go with the light beige is because I want it to contrast the dark background of the aquarium and then the black mm. aluminum wrap. You said you just got this shipment in recently? Oh, wow. wow. We want it to be an ecosystem that is, is designed for the longevity of the fish that are gonna go in there. Driftwood was pulled in a way that it doesn't pull down any trees. Aged gravel and the darker driftwood, it'll contrast really well. That's a piece. This was the bottom. Yeah. And we take this out. I think we both agree that these are two really special pieces, correct? Yeah. Because this is a collaborative effort, I want Method Box to choose the piece of driftwood that will be going into the Yes Theory tank. So. <laughs> I like this one because it's smooth, it's got that darkness to it, and it's more oaky. Have to choose the first one. The first one? The first one. If it does feel like it came from like Malaysia or something, it, it represents them. I mean, they could have brought this back from one of their yeah. many adventures, you know? And take it into consideration the color palette. I think I would go with this one. The good news is, is we're all on the same page. This is it? This is the one. It's definitely it. Just unique textures. The truth is there's five or six ways we could take this tank. What I'm leaning towards is going with the basic riverbed look. The space the aquarium's going is, is gonna be like a very meditative space, very zen. They have a dedicated meditation space. The purpose of this aquarium is to display a sustainable ecosystem and provide relaxation. It's all about that texture and character. You don't want the aquarium to be too monotone, but at the same time you want it to be cohesive. And one way we can do that is by getting the same stone in different sizes. <laughs> we got a future aquarist here. YouTube doesn't work out, you come call me. 
plants are synthetic and a lot of times people are like, well, why wouldn't you just use real plants? Which is a great way to promote sustainability. However, after we install the aquarium, we obviously have to maintain it. So to make sure that it's maintenance friendly, we're gonna put synthetic plants in there because they don't require obviously any care at all. So when the water's in there, you're not gonna be able to tell they're fake. Whoa! <laughs> Crown a little there. crown that goes up. Oh, wow, that's <laughs> so elegant. <laughs> There's no way to... I mean, the inside's amazing. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna jump up to the roof and just see what I can find. Sweet. The fish tank that you just saw going up has a lot of life to it. Yeah. Instead of a TV, you watch life in your house. They're all about bringing community together, bringing people together. So we needed something like uplifting, obviously colorful. On a pullback scale, this entry point is, we're just gonna centralize on this globe of a map of Venice Beach, yes house. This light projection all the way up the stairs, it welcomes you up into the space. Cosmos to the house on the map, to the actual house as you go up and then you're engaging with things like the aquarium element. You actually went from space to space to space. So you're doing like black cloth or something? Yeah, yeah, so instead of this plastic, it's gonna be black cloth. And nice, then man. Those, actually, that was never the plan, but then when we closed it with plastic, I just thought, this is actually quite a unique experience. As far as that immersiveness. Yeah, yeah you eventually about. enter into a dark space, yeah. and there's gonna be LEDs here. Like, the instant I looked at this, it reminded me of the entrance to the pyramid. So it, like, it just felt, it gave mm. me like a feeling in my heart right away. I have a huge attachment to the pyramid. Son of Marshall is super interested now that he knows he's gonna be fit. I know. We're gonna talk with Liam and Omar and just see when this big reveal is gonna happen. As we mentioned before, the aquarium also occupies a single person meditation space. There will be fabric stapled into it. So this one will be the exact profile of the aquarium from above. And then they'll ripple outwards. It will feel so cohesive and it will just feel like everybody has actually come together for this space. It's like a different interpretation of their old space. Even their old house, right? It's like when you walk up, it's the, the side pathway, the gangway, into like the actual backyard, which is their space. It feels exactly the same. Yeah. Just like a different rendition of it. Whether it's you filming right now, or Nate, the volunteers doing this, or I don't know, Bose putting the sound system in the space, it just there's this collective energy from a lot of people and a lot of companies, a lot of brands that want to just like come and actually make this like iconic for everybody that steps in it, which is really cool. Okay. All right, I think we're done. So why don't we go find Amar and actually have him turn on his lights for the first time. So. There he is. All right. There's a big one. Oh. Uh, I feel I'm giving, I'm being giving the keys to the universe right now. Let's go check it out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so baller, dude. Yeah. This is your fully sustainable 155 gallon Yes, Theory Aquarium. Wow. Zach could fit in there. <laughs> completely just transforms the space. Uh, once we get the fish in there, it's just going to be completely different. Wow. That's what. Awesome. It's a big moment, guys. A big moment. You're all here. Everybody, welcome to the SM. <laughs> I, I do plan to take Monday to buy the angelfish for the aquarium. The wholesaler where they have like 10 or 15,000 different fish and we'll pick out the captive bred angelfish and then bring them to Venice. Uh, assuming we don't have any hiccups, it should go a lot smoother than last week, so. <laughs> and today we're gonna add the starter fish. Small, but very, very hardy. What they do is they start the bacteria, bacterial Keep going. What they do is they start the bacteria They're around here somewhere. That might work though. Holy cow, how'd you find that? With the bacteria that we add in the aquarium, we'll be able to avoid any ammonia spikes. We have 20 zebra danios, and these guys will set it up for the uh, angelfish that'll come down the road. And you want to submerge the food. Submerge the food. Yes. They're a very hardy see. fish, which is why yeah. we're introducing them. They can acclimate really well to ammonia spikes, and we've learned really all kinds of fun <laughs> facts. <laughs> <laughs> now the box turns into a fish. Yeah. 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 Soon I'll start talking about frame rates and focal yeah. lengths. Wow. Yeah. We're all learning from each other. There's a significant result in the conservation of our natural environments as a result of the fish trade. This whole sustainable aquaculture, they call it the ornamental fish trade down in, in South America. It keeps villages alive, it keeps them from 
from doing gold mining, logging, slash and burn, cattle grazing, all that stuff, all that, those jungles would just disappear. And, and part of it's this ornamental fish trade. It's an overwhelming percentage of fish in the aquarium trade that are captive raised, right? For freshwater, probably about two thirds. So in 72, 80% of the population of all freshwater fish in the world are gone. Wow. Just gone. We only have 20% and our population is 400% higher than the human population. People take, literally taking away their environment. There's a couple dozen species you, you saw, you didn't know you are looking at them, but they're extinct in the wild. It used to be all over Asia. They put people there instead. So one of the things that's keeping the species alive is a freshwater fish trade. Consumers used to understand that, but, but that message has somehow been lost in the last 10 years. You never hear about it anymore. And the only reason why those that are still around is because of, of aquariums. Wow. They, they, they keep them alive. These are the angelfish that they've held for us. All of these angelfish were bred in captivity, so nothing was pulled out of the wild. They're tank raised, um, adjusted to tap water pHs, and they're also adjusted to prepared food. So they're a lot sturdier when they go in an aquarium. And I just think they're so beautiful. These are marbled angelfish, and they have a very beautiful color palette that will really contrast that dark driftwood and the black background of the aquarium. I think there's a black light here. Yeah, here's the switch. Check it out. Whoa. Isn't this cool? Yeah, let me take you guys upstairs. Come on. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's do it. Welcome to the Yes Theory House. What's great about this entire experience is that we're taking all of our history as business owners, all of our creativity as aquarium designers, all of our connections through social media, and bringing them to a point where we are now in a position where we get to deliver a personal message about sustainability. So I would love to start a way for all of these people who have this passion about sustainability, conservation, to find a way to create a group, page, or a platform where they can lend their messages, opinions, or experiences, so that the people that really do gravitate toward this industry for the right reasons follow those messages and get inspired. All of the newcomers to the hobby that we could potentially reach will hopefully resonate this message. And you never know how one little nuance moment will change the perspective for someone who might be watching the video. Can you drop this? Of course. You guys have like, you guys have such amazing shots. Thomas, you did something huge for us. Something that we've been thinking about for a while. Always wanted to collaborate with you guys. What if we can get Thomas to narrate our video? You came through, man. <laughs> it happened. It's you guys wrote it, so I did my best to just you know sprinkle little things in. He had no idea what we're making. Yeah, I yeah, know. He was, <laughs> you're cool enough to be like, yes. I'm excited to see how the edit comes out. I'm excited to see the story you guys are gonna tell. I'm just thankful that you guys are part of this and, and, and telling this guy's story. Thank you, man. Oh, absolutely, my pleasure. Thank you, man. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. And at the end of the day, when the installation's complete and we're moving on to the next project, the best part about this whole thing is that it's just the beginning. Did Thomas and Matt leave you in charge of this? When it comes to uh, like aesthetics related stuff, design related stuff, space, live experiences, that's usually in my, in my like the work that I prefer taking on. Because they take on work that I, I don't want to do, but they like. So it just works out really well. In fact, I actually asked them not to come into the space until the end of next week. So, no, that, so yeah, it's yeah. going to be a reveal for them. Yeah, exactly. It's the first out of hundreds of yes houses around the world. Oh, that's, that's, on, that's on record. That's on record. Yeah, it's, that's the vision. Nothing would make me happier than just seeing like these spaces exist for other people, for more than just us and our friends, but new culture that we are calling for and people to be more open towards each other, to have a, an environment that can accommodate and facilitate it. The, just the idea of spaces in general and live experiences is going to be a lot more amplified uh, like coming up in the content that we make. Yeah, we can keep going on these adventures and doing all these like crazy things, but what is actually making an impact in people's lives? And the number one we've seen is them meeting each other. You're going to do a launch? Yes. Uh, we're prepping for that. We're trying to do something, we're trying to do something big. We're trying to get yeah. someone special to come. Like, you know. <laughs> This is the, it's everything that we wanted it to be, and so much more. You guys, this is gonna 
make change. Yeah. That's the thing about this, is it's going to create a wave in the industry of aquariums that's going to create something that's better for you. And there it was. Three channels collaborating to spread a very big message. Before Nick generously reached out, we had no idea that sustainability could be so beautiful. But with this new insight, we hope that we can help Nick begin a cultural conversation about the power of sustainability. And now we have this incredible aquarium sitting in the corner of our new space, reminding us that we can all do our part to help. That is a wrap on the Yes House project. We finally got to collaborate with Yes Theory and tell Nick's story. Like the video? Consider liking and sharing to spread Nick's message. Really like the video? Consider subscribing. Hang out with us every week. If there are any other channels you want to see us collaborate with, let us know in the comment section or on Instagram where you can hang out with us on the daily. Peace out. Later. Hi, I'm Nick Tiemens with Infinity Aquarium Design, where we just finished installing the... Cut.